Hi guys, and uh, welcome to another episode of Foss Fishing. Yet again, out hauling the parts. Today is Saturday, the 11th. <clears throat> I think, maybe, perhaps. And uh, the parts have been soaking for two, two nights, 48 hours. Now oh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You know, the, <laughs> those are crabs, but uh, you know, the pots are pretty heavy. It's 18 kilos, but I would guess I have like a few kilos more here just in crabs. Oops. And I don't see a single big male in here as well. So, so uh, let's head off to the next one. Okay, coming up on part number two. You know, both of these parts have been set at uh, like 35 to 40 meters. Whew. Oh, nope, but two really nice crabs there. And that's something. Those are really huge. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece of crab. <laughs> There's another one in here as well. Just as big. Oh man, those are nice eating. I'll be keeping them. This is a bit light, but this should be perfect. Let's see. Ah, it's a bit soft. Two actually, this I think is very soft. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, that's too bad. They are both soft, but they are huge. The rest, not so much to even consider. So, okay, let's head over to the next set of pots. Okay guys, we are coming up on part number three. I have uh, three pots here, so... Okay, come on. Nope. And uh, I'm thinking this is it for this spot. I've had pots here now for... Uh, 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 four, three, four holes, I think, and uh, I only caught a couple of crabs, and that is all every time. So it's time to make a switch. But yeah, see you over at the next one. Part number four. <laughs> uh, it's just what well, it was, was the same thing last time I hold these pots. I got like two crabs in each one, and uh, I have no explanation why it is. But uh, earlier this season, I caught a good amount of crabs, and I also caught some lobsters here. So, yep, I am. Uh, Moving the parts to a different spot. See you at the next one. Okay, part number five is set at 12 meters. So, 
it should be here any moment yep no okay this spot here is done for crossing my fingers for the last four pots see you there Okay, coming up on pot number six. Oh man, there are some big swells here today. Nope, only some crabs. Huh. Better luck next time. Okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number seven. This is one of the new pots. It was set at 35 meters, approximately. Oh man, they do catch a lot of crabs, these pots. So there's nothing wrong with them, but uh, I would really like to see a lobster. No really big ones in here. A few nice males, but no really big ones. Okay, let's head over to the next pot. Okay, coming up on pot number eight. Completely empty. Huh. That's no good. What's wrong with... What's wrong with my pots? Is there a hole somewhere or...? Bad bait, maybe? Well, whatever it is, I'm bringing all these pots a bit further in because... Uh, you know, hauling pots in this, in these swells, and this this sea is uh, sort of hazardous, and I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. So I'll just I'll just uh, rebate and stack it, and I'll bring it bring it closer to shore. So hopefully I'll see you at the next one, if I can find it. The swells pump up over the, uh, the floats. And so I only see the floats when it's at the bottom of a uh, swell, right? Okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number nine. Oh, I can see some crabs. <laughs> oh man, that is just... <laughs> oh, a rider. I think I saw a nice one in here. I think. It's like, oh man. They must be hungry, the crabs. Risking it all, trying to get in. I think I saw a keeper in here. I think I did. Oops, sorry. But maybe 
maybe not. Yeah, that should be nice. A nice claw on it, but only one. And it's rock solid, so yeah, I'll keep that. But the rest, not so much. Okay, as I said, I'm moving the parts today because it is a hassle hauling parts in this in these wells and it's 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 not really safe you know I have a small boat only 16 foot and so I shouldn't really be out here on my own hauling parts but to my defense it's Saturday there is a lot of other boats out and if there was anything to happen to me then uh, someone would see me and help me out but, uh, it's been worse you know the weather it's mostly just big swells but uh, and uh, you know so but I'm confident in the boat you know I, I've been driving this boat for quite some time and and uh, I'm, I'm fairly confident that it can handle this type of sea but you know accidents do happen so I'm gonna move these parts further in and then uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care guys, see you later. Hi guys and welcome to another episode. We are out on a windy one today. It's blowing approximately 10 meters per second and I'm starting off with the two oh, heavy pots. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, no. oh, that's a lot of crabs. A lot of crabs. Oh man. Ha! Huh. And I do not see a single keeper in here as well, so or either, so. Now, they're all going back out again. So uh, yeah, I'll see you at the next part, huh? Oh, okay, coming up on part number two. It's like two or three degrees Celsius here in the south of Norway. Oh man, that's a crab pot. Oh. And uh, oh. that is a nice card, actually. Oh, that's not bad. No lobsters, though. That's a nice one. Hoi. But uh, crab wise, no, no real keepers in here today. Okay, but I'm feeling confident for the next uh, seven parts. I think there will be a uh, lobster today. The temperature in the Ah, oh, come on. The temperature is 8 degrees Celsius in the water here on the top layer at least. So as it gets colder, uh, the lobsters stop moving as much. So uh, we'll just have to see, huh? It's a reason, one of the reasons why I fish so deep, because further down the temperature is a bit higher. So. Okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number three. I don't know if I forgot to say, but 
they've been soaking for 48 hours. Nope, just crabs. And no keepers either, so so we're heading off to the next one. Okay, so we're coming up on pot number four. Oh, yeah, no. Well, there's a pretty nice boodle in here, right? No? Yeah. It's it's not small, but you know I'm I'm not keeping it. Off to the next one. Okay, here comes part number five. Ah, nope. That is a sorry catch. How did a coal fish? So a coal fish must have gone in here and gotten trapped and died. And that's what's left on. I guess. Because I didn't bait with it, so. And there's no big holes here, so. Okay, that was fairly disappointing, but still. I have a couple more pots, so let's head over to the last four. Huh. I don't know. There's a full battery in the camera, but for some reason it didn't record. So, but I hold the first. This is pot number six. It was set very deep at 45. Okay, coming up on pot number seven. Come on. Nope. That is a big bull in there. A big male. Really big. Let's hope he's not soft. He is so soft, but he's big, <laughs> man. But uh, yeah, there won't be anything in these claws, unfortunately. Yeah, so soft. Too bad. Other than that, yeah, no. Yeah, rock solid. Okay, off to the next one. Okay, coming up on pot number eight. Crabs. Couple of big ones. Oh, that is soft. Fortunately, big. Yeah. 
Whoops. Okay, okay. Off to the last one. Fingers crossed. Okay, coming up on pot number nine. Come on. Oh, that is a lobster. <laughs> oh man, last chance I got. That is a nice lobster. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the keeper. Wow, I didn't. I lost a, lost a bit of faith at the end there. That's a big one. If anything, it's too big, but it it is just perfect. It's a female and no eggs here. That is a beauty. That must be at least 30, maybe 31. these crabs. Who needs crabs? Let's see, is it soft? No, oh, that's hard. Oh, come on. But seeing this many crabs and then a lobster, uh, that's a bit strange, I think. Unusual, at least. Usually, Lobsters don't go in when there's a lot of crabs there. But who knows what happened, you know. The lobster might have been coming in late. And then when I pulled the pot, it went into the, the catching chamber with the others. It's a bit better. Oh man. Okay, so my, I, I'm guessing 31, I think. Let's see. Because I don't think it's too big. If it is, ah, well then, good on you. But this is. Thirty. It seems, yeah, thirty centimeters. That is a, just a beautiful lobster. In the last pot, in crappy weather, that just makes it all worth it, huh? <laughs> beautiful. That makes the season total twenty-six and a personal record for my part. I'm smiling. Ah. I had a streak of bad luck coming into week three of lobster season. It just suddenly, the catches just stopped for almost two weeks. And that was after having a splendid first two weeks. So I thought, oh man, is it gonna be, you know, is it over already? But uh, it was not. I've been catching lobsters fairly frequently since then, even though the weather is, the, the water is getting colder and colder. And, and that is just a beauty. Huh? Nice. Finally, finally, or oh, finally, you know, I, I hold last, last string or, or the last uh, hole I had, there was nothing, so 
place. Okay guys, you know, with that, I'll end it. Thanks for watching and uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to follow me throughout the last two weeks of lobster season. This is Foss Fishing. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.